Today I'm going to tell you about the Tesla summoning feature. I've seen many videos out there that show the car just going back and forth and maybe even to a garage, but there's much more to it, so stay tuned. The Tesla summoning feature has been one of my favorite features. Not only does it look great, but it's actually very, very useful. You see, I live in a very peculiar place because my driveway isn't completely straight and you have to go around the stairway in order to get into my garage. One of the things that I realized is that the auto summoning feature is a lot smarter than what we had anticipated. At first I thought it just went forward and it is true that at the beginning of every drive, the summoning, it tries to go completely forward but you'll notice that as I veer over to the left, the car will actually start veering towards my direction and this is a great feature for me because I can actually maneuver around the stairway that I have over to the right. And so I've moved over a little bit more to the left so that it starts going towards me. And as well, now that I've cleared the stairway, then I start going to the right. You'll notice that uh, as I go more and more to the right of it, uh, the steering will actually compensate and start gearing towards me. I actually moved my hand over so that just to tell it I'm a little bit farther away than I am because I have a fence right there and actually, I can actually maneuver all the way outside just depending on where I'm standing. Reverse seems to work the exactly the same way. So as I'm about to demonstrate, I've actually told it to go back now and you'll see that it actually also will turn the wheel depending on where I'm standing and so to try to avoid the stairway. Now, Many of you will say, well, maybe the car will automatically try to avoid these obstacles. And before I found out about this, I would actually stand over to the left uh, in order to um, stay out of the way of the car. And you'll notice that actually there are some poles there. And a couple of times the car has been came pretty close to, to them. Too close to for my uh, taste, but that's when I started to kind of try to play around with it a little bit to see how the actual summoning works and so here you'll see um, as I mentioned before that the car will try to maneuver and it actually doesn't go any farther back because there is a pole that it believes is too close now I have installed the NEMA 1450 on the right hand side wall of the garage near the middle so that way I can charge the car if it's parked inside the garage and if it's parked on the outside. And right now many times the car will be on parked on the outside and at night I'll move it forward a little bit just enough to clear the garage wall. And then once it's clear then I'll open up the garage, position the cables on the outside and then I gotta move the car back in to allow people to be able to maneuver around my car and park in their own parking spaces. This has been working great for the last few weeks and right now I'm trying to get into the habit of charging it every day. I just, it's one of the things that Tesla recommends, kind of like your phone battery. You shouldn't just discharge it all the way. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button and smash the like button and I'll see you on the next video.